there's all this construction going on right now will be finished by the time you get here and it'll look amazing. Look at this beautiful wing that you guys get, sixth graders. There are uh, cement walkways that you can walk to each class on and try not to walk on the bark. We have new plants growing there that are going to make our school even more beautiful. You will have most of your classes here and they're much newer and better than the other wings, so you should be very grateful. Please walk on the cement. Thank you. This is the It's amazing. It's a place for you to be. It's awesome. <laughs> Hello, this is the library. The librarian here is Miss Gianni, and she's really nice and helpful. Here at the library, you can do many things like research stuff, um, go on the Chromebooks to um, do your homework, or maybe print stuff in black and white. The library is really useful for 6th grade and you can do a lot of amazing things there. Graders, welcome to Sutter. Uh, school, school can be tough at times, there's lots of schoolwork, but one great thing about school is making new friends. That makes school enjoyable. And today I will give you one tip about making new friends. You should try to find friends who are in the same classes as you. This is very helpful because you can work on group projects together, you can walk to the next class together, you can sit together at lunch. And this makes it really easy to make new friends and have a great time at Sutter. Some advice I'd like to give you is to stay organized. This can help you to find all your classwork and schoolwork if you need it. Okay, we're just gonna vape just this once, okay? Come on, no one will know. Choose good friends so they can be a good influence on you and you won't have to make these tough decisions. Hey guys, if you don't have any friends right now in middle school, come sit at the buddy bench where a, a random person will sit buddy? next to you I am and you really might make right friends now. with them. I have, have fun! fun. Whole new friend. We're yeah. buddy! Make sure to avoid water fountains like these. One way to avoid these water fountains is maybe bringing a water bottle to school. One piece of advice that I would give to you if you have ya Miss Yamamoto is that you need to spell things right, always show your work, and do not use pens. Any kind of pen, highlighter, sharpie, marker, she gets like really mad. Oh, and don't use hand sanitizer or chapstick. Another piece of advice I have for you guys if you want to make a lot of new friends here at Sutter is to try to branch out from your elementary school friends and meet some new people. Just don't be afraid to put yourself out there. And if you're looking to make a lot of new friends and have a lot of fun here at Sutter, I would highly recommend for going out for one of our sports teams. We have cross country, track, basketball, and volleyball. And even if you don't think you'll make a basketball or volleyball team, you should try out anyways. It'll be a good experience. Remember that you will never regret studying too much, but you will always regret not studying enough. In sixth grade, you will do a lot of group projects. Make sure to pick people that are willing to work hard with you because you wouldn't want to do all the work in a group and then get a good grade for it. In a group project, you get the same grade for everyone in the group. You don't want to have you be the only hard worker in the group and then get a bad grade because of the rest of the people. Don't be worried about changing the boys' locker room. It's completely normal and just, just do it. Just be normal with it. Every day in middle school, you have a PE period. It's a great break from the regular classes, and it's a great source of exercise. These kids over here are playing a really fun game called Knockout that I love playing myself. Always right, Josh. When have I ever been wrong? No, you are not. It See, says right you are here. Wrong. You are wrong. We are doing my idea for this group project, okay? My idea. Don't do this in a group project, guys. Just because you may always think you're right, that's not the case. You should always be open-minded to everyone else's ideas and make them feel welcome into the group. You see this sign, 6th graders? Don't be scared. You're prepared. But how do you get prepared? A great way to be prepared at Sutter Middle School is using Quizlet. Quizlet is an online site that helps you use flashcards to study for tests and other exams. It's a great source and I really recommend you use it on every test you take. Oh my gosh, look what she just posted. It's so dumb, right? So trashy. Don't try too hard to be popular. It's a waste of time. There are better things to be thinking about. Make sure to stay hydrated by bringing your own water bottle. And if you run out, use one of these big boys to fill them back up. Hey! Don't litter on our beautiful...
Medical School. There's trash cans everywhere. Hey, George, catch this! Stop! You're not allowed to throw things downstairs and over the railings. That's against the school rules. These are the bathrooms in the B wing. We suggest that you pee in the side of the toilets and not on the floor. And take it easy. So here, as you can see, is a piece of vandalism. Boo. This is very bad, and if you get caught doing this, you'll get either suspended or expelled. So never vandalize. Also, this also makes our school look bad with tons of graffiti everywhere. Why would you want this in this awesome school? Hey, Mike! Hey! 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 hey. hey. Where's your boy? Yeah, what, what are you doing? Are you? Yeah! Oh. Oh. This kid has been mortally wounded and needs help. Don't bully. programs is the band. Our band has intermediate band, advanced band, the wind ensemble, and jazz band. Jazz band and the wind ensemble are taught by none other than Mr. Zimney. And advanced band and intermediate band are taught by 
Miss Iverson, who is actually a really good teacher. Yeah. Even I want to give you a tip too about Mr. Zinni. He can be a little strict sometimes, but usually he's really fun and lets you do what you want most of the time. Now we also have an orchestra program, who is, which is directed all by Miss Moon. We have an intermediate orchestra and an advanced orchestra. Miss Moon can be really nice. It's just that be careful because she doesn't tolerate talking too much. Oh, uh, Miss Iverson, the band teacher, is also a really nice teacher, but sometimes she yells at you for not um, doing your work, so you like have practice. to do your work. Practice. Yeah, practice makes permanent, not perfect. The good thing about being in bands is you get to go on field trips. One of them is Santa Cruz, where you get to go to the boardwalk for a whole day. Also, there's Monterey, where you go to and stay at the beautiful Portola Inn. Orchestras also has some field trips, like going to state capitals to promote music. This is PE classes. There's some football going on over there, and the uh, basketball and volleyball and stuff. And then here's some people getting ready and about to do their warm-ups. Here's some students doing a fun project. Music man. This is like sixth graders. It's your first week of school. We also have fun spirit days and weeks that you'll find out about that are really fun. You'll enjoy them. School dances and themes and things like that. It's good. An activity at Sutter that you would really enjoy is scooters in PE because it allows you to do whatever you want on the scooter. And you can create trains and race against other people. This is Miss Sorensen, but if you're sitting in my room right now watching this, you should already know me, and I'm already your favorite. Just kidding, but I'm not. Anyways, I have some tips for you for sixth grade. First one is don't procrastinate. When you get an assignment, do it. Go home and do it ahead of time. Don't wait until the last minute because then you're going to get yourself in a bind. What's another good tip? Hmm. Check your agenda all the time. Check your grades, the teacher website. When you're absent, check the teacher's website. That's where all the information is. Get a study buddy in every class that you have so that if you are gone and you look at the website and think, I don't understand what that means, you have a friend to ask. Those are my best tips. This is Sorensen, and you should know that because you're sitting in my room. Duh. But I wanted to let you know you're going to do a lot of fun projects this year, and these two boys are going to tell you about some of them. One of the projects is the poetry book. At first, I didn't think I'd be very good at it, but it turned out to be really cool and fun. The other project is a project on the book Where the Red Fern Grows, my personal favorite. And even though it was a lot of work at first, it turned out really cool. So those are a couple of the things you have to look forward to in my class. This is Miss Yamamoto's classroom. She gives out a lot of extra credit and she's a really great teacher. She is. Make sure that you spell undefined correctly. I love Miss Yamamoto. Miss O'Boyle is really nice. She has many fun projects, and she also gives out a lot of cool compliment cards. All right, I think I'm live. Uh, some tips for sixth graders. Uh, I'd say get to know people in your advisory who have your classes, because that way if you miss a day, you can ask for help with homework or what you missed and get notes from them. Um, I'd also say it's really important to use your agenda. Keeping a list of what you have to do is really helpful as a student here. And also check Power School and ask questions. Teachers love it when you ask questions when you don't know an answer or how to solve something. And I'd much rather students try hard and work their best, um, even if they're struggling with it, and ask a lot of good questions so that they can do their best. Uh, I hope you have a great sixth grade. Thanks. This is your school resource officer, Officer Friedrich, with some helpful tips for you in the sixth graders. So watch out for cars when you're in the front and the parents are dropping you off. Make sure you use the crosswalk. Make sure you guys pay attention to where you're at and what you're doing. You're going to class on time. And if you guys need anything, come find me and let me know. It's always important to study academics, like math, and learn that. That's an important skill set. But it's also important to be kind. Kindness counts. And being nice to other people is a really important part of what you should be doing at school and in life. I hope you're always kind. Hey guys, this is Miss Tobbs' classroom. They're taking a test right now, but I just want to tell you that you should be ready for Miss Todd. She's a great, understanding teacher that 
always make sure you get what you need done and you always get AIDS, which is good. I think you might enjoy having Miss Gerards as a teacher because she is fun and sarcastic and she makes PE very fun. Why is the A-Wing amazing? Because we are amazing. Who was your favorite sixth grade teacher? My favorite sixth grade teacher was Mr. Pomrose because his class was pretty easy and very understandable and he makes uh, the class super fun. And so that's why I think Mr. Pomrose is a great teacher.